First up this hour, Jack Owens. Jack Owens is a West Virginia native, born in southern West Virginia, uh, spent 30 years in the FBI, and so he's very familiar with the FBI and also is an author. He's author of the POC, P-O-C-K, the POC thriller series. He's also written a fictional account of the assassination of John F. Kennedy, and he also believes with all his heart that James Comey is telling the truth about everything. Is that right, Jack? Good morning to you, sir. <laughs> everything. Well, I, I tend to believe Comey in that I give him the benefit of the doubt, but I will wait, wait and see what, what lies further down the road with uh, Director Comey. Yeah. He was well-received in the FBI by was he? St- street agents. Yes, he was. And why was that? Um, he was a friendly guy, very approachable. He had impeccable credentials, Hoppy, with, as a prosecutor. Mm-hmm. He loved the FBI. And we knew he would come, when he came to a field office, he would talk to the grunts like me, mm-hmm. street agents, and get a feel for what we were thinking. And we liked him. Okay. Okay. So, and I, I understand that. I mean, so if you like somebody and you've had positive experiences with them, you would tend to tend to believe him. Does anything about how all this has unfolded to strike you as peculiar at all, though? I and mean, what stands out to you about this whole Comey Trump thing? Um, what's, what's peculiar to me an FBI veteran, is uh, Comey's actions during the uh, campaign when um, he he talked about uh, uh, Secretary Clinton and then opening the uh, investigation into the emails against the Department of Justice and FBI procedures. Uh, He took that on himself. He should have been careful. The the irony of the... uh, conflicts between our president and Comey is that the FBI culture is very conservative, even Republican, and uh, would be pro, pro-Trump. And uh, Comey may never exhibited to me a political agenda really? when he was the leader of the Bureau. I, I can't explain why he opened the um, yeah, why would it be, Jack? Because, like you said, in the the FBI has a chain of command. Everybody answers yes. to somebody, and he answered obviously to the Attorney General. Why would he, on his own, come out and say, "Well, Hillary Clinton, there's nothing there," and then come out later and say, "Well, we're investigating"? Why would he do that on his own? Why wouldn't you go to your boss? A good point, Hoppy. I don't know. I'm chuckling because I'm I was flabbergasted by his actions at the time, and he he brought uh, criticism heavily down on the bureau we were never the bureau was never and and is still never about politics we just don't get into that mess we do our jobs we have a job an important one i think i don't want to be involved in politics well you okay you were, you were you, you 30 years you were a field agent in the fbi but didn't y'all yes. talk politics i mean didn't there and i understand i'm going to take your word and, and i have a lot of regard for the fbi Thank in you. terms of protecting the country and but uh, i mean everybody's human you know, everybody's human. Everybody has uh, feelings, uh, opinions, those kinds of things. Yes, Hoppy. I hope this doesn't uh, sound arrogant, but uh, FBI agents want to do their work. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. We don't really care who's in the White House. Presidents come and go. The FBI remains. We, we coveted our uh, uh, destinies as agents and what we were tasked to do, and we fulfilled those destinies and I saw it happen hundreds of times. I love being an agent. I highly respected my Confederates, my colleagues. It was terrific being in the FBI. We did some big work, mm-hmm. some important work. Yeah. And in my case, I worked against the Soviet threat. I worked for four years undercover against hostile intelligence services controlled by the Soviets and their, their puppets in East Europe. They were adversaries. They still are. They're a menace, and we have to deal with them. Jack Owens is with us. He's a retired 30-year veteran of the FBI, three agents, um, and uh, also he's an author. And so you, what do you make then of the Russian attempt to influence the U.S. election process? Makes, makes me angry. They're at it. They've always been at it. The counterintelligence function of the Bureau I cherished, I coveted doing that work. I wanted to go at their throats, and we did. We hung some of them out to dry. We got in their knickers, and we made them look bad. The FBI is very good at that work. 
counterterrorism and, and foreign in, and intelligence. I enjoyed working in the cover my, and going at the opposition, and we were good at it. Do they is this is it still going on right now? Yes, it never ended, Hoppy. When did uh, it start? I mean, when did it start? When, when did it start? Or has it always been going on back to the old cold, you know, the Cold War days? I mean, back to. Can we go back to 1917, the Russian Revolution? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm sorry yeah. to go back that far. But yeah. That's when it started. We we in the bureau we we did not look down on our adversaries. We had to respect them. They were well trained and patriotic, but we didn't like them. We wanted to take them down, particularly when they came at our republic with uh, malcontent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how how good are we at not just blocking them, Jack, but knowing what they're up to? I mean, certainly we're spying on them, and we should be. Uh, what do, do we know? What they're up to? Yes, I, we do. The American intelligence community is superb. Uh, particularly the NSA, the Pentagon intelligence people, the CIA, and the FBI mm -hmm. were very good at our work in counterintelligence. We know what the Russians are doing. They have never stopped spying. They don't produce anything in that country except spying oil and gas. <laughs> in that order? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, in my, in my biased perspective, yes. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, you, you mentioned all those uh, agencies now in, involved in the U.S. U.S. security. Are they still silos, or is there cooperation to try to enhance security in this country? I think the cooperation uh, increased uh, tenfold after 9/11. Mm -hmm. What a terrible event to get us to come together. There were always turf wars, Hoppy, with this exception. Down at my level, when we're having coffee, when I would have coffee and drinks with CIA agents. We were fine together. We worked fine together. It was um, our leadership that was uh, working a turf battle and did not always talk to each other. I regret that, particularly 9-11. I had retired then. I wish. I just wish I'd still been an agent on 9-11. I retired in 1999. Jack Owens is with us, retired 30-year veteran of the FBI, uh, an author of the Pox series. Also, he wrote a fictional account of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. And you uh, live in Birmingham, Alabama now. Where'd you grow up in West Virginia? In McDowell County. The free state of McDowell County. <laughs> the, the county, the free state of McDowell. I, I grew up in Jenkins Jones in Number 6 Hollow. Yeah. Also lived in Mayberry. My dad coached football at Elkhorn High School in Switchback. I love McDowell County. I remember when we had so many people flourishing in the coal industry, including all of my relatives. Really? We came here from Wales, and we, we decided when we came here, my ancestors, to mine coal because that's what they knew. Where did you, when did you leave? Where did you go? I left West Virginia with my family in 1956 when my dad took a football position at Westchester University, mm -hmm. Valley University, was Westchester State Teachers College in southeastern Pennsylvania. So I have roots there also. But my heart, my ancestors, the people I love are in southern West Virginia. You still have and family now, there? I, yes, I still have family there. Some cousins have a huge family of Owens, uh, which is a Welsh name. We settled after Wales in McDowell County, and I I went to Concord College in Mercer County. Yeah, very different uh, county in terms of less coal, and uh, Concord College with my my parents were graduates. I played football for Don Williams there in the early sixties. Do you know Homer Hickam? Do you know yes. Homer? Do you? I do. He's right here. He's. He's in Huntsville. I see yeah. him frequently, and, and I buy all his books and get get him to sign them. He's yeah. a wonderful guy. He's a great guy. He's a great. He's a frequent guest here on Talk. What are you working on now? Are you working on anything? I'm working on the the second, which is a, it's about to come out. The second book in the Pock trilogy is about an intellectual serial killer. It's t the book's point of view is his. He loves Bulgarian opera and he loves Jesus and flowers. He says that Jesus and flowers talk back to him. It's a very, he's a very scary guy, but he has some humor. 
that my, my second volume is coming out within weeks. Oh, that's great. What's it going to be called? What's it called? It's called Give Them Over to Death. Give Them Over to Death. So it's a, yes. fe a feel-good story, right? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yes, I'll be. So what is it? i, I got to confess, I was reading about the Pac series. Is that a guy? I mean, who is Pac? That's a guy. Yeah, he's heavily disfigured and handicapped. He's disabled, has a club foot, and uh, he is a killer, but he's funny. I tried to write it as a dark comedy like Dexter, that very mm -hmm. popular TV series. And uh, I, I see the world in terms of humor. And the law enforcement is, is regulated by humor. Uh, law enforcement is stressful, and you need humor. Sure, sure. You need it. Well, good luck with that. I'm going to have you back. You're fun to talk to. Will you come back and talk to us again? Yes, I'll be. Thank you. I feel like I've come home today. It's wonderful to talk to my fellow West Virginians. It's good to talk to you. Jack Owens, retired 30-year veteran of the FBI, native of McDowell County, author, has a new book coming out in the Pox, in the Pox, is, no, is it in the Pox series? Yes, it's going to be a trilogy. Okay, very good. Look forward to reading it. Jack, Thank great you. meeting you and talking to you. Take care. Thank you, Hoppy. You're very kind. It's my pleasure. Thank Bye -bye. you.